Now we come to this particularly special palm in this Galician garden. This was purchased back in 2006 as a Bootia paraguayensis. Bootia paraguayensis, from what I've read since, doesn't look anything like this. So it's been a mystery to me. But anyway, I think the mystery, we're getting close to solving it. I'm coming closer to the palm here. It's got lovely sort of reddish base to the trunk. Lovely sort of very grand, very big base of the trunk. And coming up from the trunk here in February are some spades, flower spades. And this is one of the flower spades I'm coming in to have a look at now. I have this lovely sort of velvety, hairy texture, which I haven't seen on any of the other bootias in the garden. Well, this is typical of Bootia irispatha, and also typical of Bootia yatte. And there's another spade coming out around the corner here. I'll come back a little bit. And there's the other spade coming out just here. Again, same thing. Lots of sort of hairy brown. I think they call it tomentum, but I, I don't quote me on that because my I'm not a, a botanist in any way. So there it is, that's Bootia, Bootia paraguayensis. No, it isn't. What I believe it is, is because of the spade that's coming out this year, it's Bootia, Bootia irispatha. And way back in 2006, when this was purchased from a place down in Bristol, the... Um, guy that sold it also sold something called Bootia Gigantia. Well, I think the mystery is solved. I think this is Bootia Gigantia, which I think is a subspecies or could be a subspecies or a hybrid of some sort of Bootia irispatha. So the leaves are a little bit bluer than the irispatha, so it could be hybridised with the odorata. But it's very big, it's very beautiful, it's got a lovely, lovely shape to it. And if I step back and come back and try and get the whole tree in, it's very big. I mean, it's it's approaching the size, well, it's not as big as a Canary Island date palm. Well, I can prove that because if I just turn around here a little bit, that's an absolute monster. And you don't want one of those in your garden. Seriously, you don't want a Canary Island date palm in your garden. So. There we are, Bootia irispatha, subspecies Gigantia, in Galicia, Spain.